Hi, Sally Walker here, your hormone and slow age expert. So welcome to this blog all about inflammation. So let's talk a little bit about how we diagnose inflammation. So first off, there is no one test that will categorically say, yes, you have inflammation or no, you don't have inflammation. Uh, so that makes it quite complicated. So you could start off by answering a little questionnaire, so a little self-test, and that's on my webpage, sally-walker.com, under test yourself, and you'll see there are various ways of getting a picture of if you have inflammation or not. But it's not going to be uh, accurate in this, as in having a blood test done, but it gives you an indication. And, uh, you know, getting to know your symptoms is always a good thing. Okay, or being aware of your symptoms is always a good thing. So otherwise, uh, you're gonna have to have your doc involved and asking your GP to please measure inflammation levels in the body. Now, there are, several ways of measuring inflammation and your GP will probably only measure the one way, possibly two. And there is a, an article in this blog about how to test and I've named all the different blood tests that you can do. Things like CRP, things like ferritin, things like ESR, TNF-alpha, IL-6, etc. Now all of these can be tested in blood, absolutely, but it's uh, a question of your of your doctor will or of your doctor may, etc. So CRP is usually tested by the doctors, so at least you'll be getting that one. But unfortunately, that might be okay, um, but you still might have inflammation, so it doesn't pick up everything. As I said, there's not one test that will will categorically tell you that yes, you have or no, you don't have inflammation. Mm. There's also a private test you can do. It's called the ratio of omega-6 uh, to omega-3 fatty acids, where omega-3 uh, will uh, calm inflammation and stop blood clotting, and omega-6s do the opposite, opposite, so they're going to increase inflammation and increase blood clotting. Both of these are very important, people. And if you want to know more particulars about omega-6 and omega-3s, then be sure to check those blogs, because there's lots and lots of very important information there for you to read and listen to uh, but you can test this but this is a private test so you will just uh, prick your finger and it will be sent off to a lab and they will evaluate how much uh, there is of omega-6 in your uh, in your blood related to omega-3s and you'll get an indication of this so that's another way of doing it but as I said categorically there is not just one test there are many ways of doing it and the more ways that you test the better happy hormones happy life